All right, I just had to do a video on this. This was this was just hilarious, okay? And just a heads up, this is not in any way, shape, or form a promotion of the uh, wicked profanity lace cartoon of South Park. But guess what? A broken clock is right twice a day. And the truth is still the truth regardless of who is speaking it. See, whoever is speaking the truth doesn't make it, you know, less of a truth if the person speaking the truth is, you know, happens to be a wicked sinner. But, you know, this is just, it sums up the fact that pretty much everybody hates, uh, Prince Harry and his uh, professional victimhood mentality, uh, prof uh, pr I'll put it this way, the professional victim Meghan Markle, essentially, because she thinks she's some kind of, you know, oh, so, you know, essentially this pity party she, she has going on, even though she lives in a $15 million house. I could say a whole lot more on these two losers, but quite frankly, I haven't really given it much thought because they're not worth my brain space, you know, but uh, it's funny because this, uh, probably one of the few good things South Park has done is they absolutely uh, roasted these two in one of their cartoons, and it was the, even the title was hilarious, Worldwide Privacy Tour. Because these two jokers want privacy, and how they're going to get privacy is putting out books, putting out a you know series on Netflix, and giving interviews. So that's how they're going to get privacy. You know, It's a bunch of garbage, but, but I'm just going to read some funny thing about some of the funny, just brutal shots they took at these two, these two jokers who think they're something. This is on the New York Post. It says, All the brutal shots South Park took at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Yeah. So, I mean, even South Park is kicking at them. Again, Broken Clock is right twice a day. You know. But it says in the article, In a recent South Park episode titled The Worldwide Privacy Tour, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were brutally mocked. Meghan, 41, was reportedly upset and overwhelmed. Oh no, boo-hoo. <laughs> by it. And the couple's approval ratings in the U.S. have taken a, have even taken a dive. Despite rumors of a lawsuit, the couple's rep told the Post that Harry and Meghan thought the episode was all, frankly, nonsense, totally baseless and boring, and denied allegations that the couple planned to sue. <laughs> Traders Trey Parker and Matt Stone were unfazed by the uproar, recalling a long history of lawsuits, including battles with Scientology and other over the notorious episode mocking Tom Cruise. The episode follows the uh, cartoon characters who claim to want to stay out of the spotlight but go on various talk shows. They resemble the Duke and du Duchess of Sussex but aren't given their official names on the show. If you missed the episode or even if you saw it but missed the uh, Easter eggs, here's what you need to know. It says in the article, here's here's some of the funny roasts these guys, these guys uh, received from, were on the receiving end from South Park, I'll put it that way. Uh, a nod to the uh, candle snub. On the show, the characters attend a funeral of the Canadian Queen and walk past the candle. Recall that in real life, on the televised broadcast of the Queen's funeral, there were rumors of the, of the royal family put Meghan, or sorry, put Markle behind the candle, and uh, so that she was barely seen during the broadcast. But it says also memoir mock, memoir mockery. In the episode, the character who is uh, comparable to Prince Harry is promoting a book called <laughs> Wah on screen, and one character complains they have this huge jet. Uh, park in front of my house and they keep on wanting me to buy their book. In real life, of course, Harry has made headlines with his best-selling memoir, Spare. It says in the, uh, also in the article, Remembering the Frostbitten Member. In his memoir, Prince Harry, inf Prince Harry inf infamously gave too much information about his frostbit frostbitten todger on the show and uh, the Harry character says at one point, this is an outrage. We will just see how he deals with my, and he says, you know, a, you know, typical South Park dirty humor, but it is true the kind of uh, person he is. Lost in translation, in real life, Meghan Markle has given interviews to several outlets such as Vogue and Verity, or sorry, Variety. In the episode, the Meghan-like character is shown on the cover of the fictional magazine G2. The cover says, again, I'm not gonna say that because it's typical dirty South Park humor, but it is true though. Uh, on, it's a play on the words of the Latin phrase that appeared in a real life GQ cover, Meghan's Aeneas uh, Mirabilis, whatever. I'm not good at reading stuff on on the on the screen. Which translates to Megan's wonderful year. Also, uh, role play on screen. The fictional couple meets with the band manager who labels Megan's character sorority girl, sor <laughs> this is funny, sorority girl, actress, influencer, and victim. While the Harry character is given the label pr uh, royal prince, millionaire, world traveler, victim. The Megan character. The Megan character is also described as lawyer pretending, which is a reference to Megan's days as an actress on the USA series Suits. Also mixed messages. Harry and Meghan uh, famously sat down with Oprah in real life in addition to releasing the six part Netflix documentary about their relationship. Uh, many have pointed out their uh, about their endless self-promotion is at odds with their supposed uh, desire for privacy. On the show, the characters appear on Good Morning Canada and who uh, to claim they want, they want privacy. The Meghan character holds a sign reading, stop looking at us while Harry Harry's character uh, has a sign saying, we want our privacy.
Uh, moving on down, in real life, Harry and Meghan made headlines in a 2020 step back from the royal family and moved to California. On the show, the couple moves to South Park, and the Meghan character says, if we moved here, people will think we're really serious about wanting to be normal. Yeah. Well, your feet, you got roasted by South Park, so it kind of shows, you know, what everyone thinks of you. And even the South Park characters roasted their South Park characters. Hilarious. But hey, these two losers had it coming. Again, a broken clock is still right twice a day. Not promoting South Park, but hey, even they see through their, their uh, hypocrisy and, and idiocy. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.